Today we're looking at the Manfrotto MHX Pro-2W X-Pro Fluid Head. Now despite its sophisticated sounding name, the X-Pro Fluid Head is one of Manfrotto's newer fluid heads that is extremely affordable. So let's take a closer look. The X-Pro Fluid Head is one of Manfrotto's most compact and lightweight fluid heads, weighing in at a mere 1.7 pounds. And this is extremely lightweight, especially when compared to something like the 502 HD, which weighs in at 3.5 pounds. This is great for folks who travel a lot with their gear and need something lightweight. It has a flat base and mounts to any tripod that has a 3 8 inch standard male thread. At its core, the X-Pro Fluid Head is a very simple device. It has two fluid cartridges, one for panning and the other for the tilt axis. Both the pan and tilt axes have knobs that can slightly adjust the amount of fluid resistance and can also lock each axis completely. Cameras mount to the head using Manfrotto's RC2 quick release connector, which has a standard quarter 20 thread. And if you plan to use more than one camera with the fluid head, you can buy extra RC2 plates and quickly change out cameras. The RC2 mount also has a safety lock that prevents you from accidentally releasing the camera. It can support cameras up to 8.8 .8 pounds in weight, and that's more than enough for most mirrorless cameras, DSLRs, and camcorders. One of the features that sets the X-Pro head apart from other budget Manfrotto fluid heads is the dual tension balancing system. There are two settings, one for cameras with with shorter lenses and the other for cameras with longer lenses. You can select either setting by rotating the gray knob on the right hand side. The settings work fine and helps to keep the camera balanced when shooting. Its base also has an extremely helpful fluid level to make sure your camera and tripod are leveled out. The handle on the X-Pro is comfortable to use and can be installed on either side depending on which hand you prefer to use to operate the rig. The handle is more compact than handles on larger fluid heads and is about 11 inches in length. The overall build Build quality on the X-Pro is pretty good. It's made from a combination of cast aluminum and hard plastic. It should hold up pretty well for semi-professional and enthusiast use. When we tested the X-Pro, it performed just as expected. The typical Manfrotto smoothness was evident. Videos were smooth and free of any jerkiness, both in the pan and tilt modes. Now, it certainly doesn't have the option of precise fine-tuning of the fluid tension like you get with something like the Manfrotto 502 HD. However, I really don't see that as much of an issue for semi-professional and enthusiast users. In fact, I find that having less flexibility with the fluid tension allows users to focus more on the shot and less on the tension settings. It just produces smooth pans and tilts with very little setup or adjustment. Works superbly well right out of the box as you can see in these videos. So should you buy this fluid head? If you're a semi-professional videographer or a filmmaker on a budget, this is an inexpensive tool that will add a lot to your production value and just plain makes your videos look cooler. For those folks, I definitely recommend the X-Pro. It's certainly not a heavy-duty fluid head for rough commercial use. If you want something more heavy-duty for daily commercial use, I'd recommend the 502 HD. Feel free to check out our review of that fluid head. I'll leave a link below. I've also put links to all the equipment I mentioned in this video in the description below in case you're looking to buy any of those. Hope this review was useful. If it was, please like this video and subscribe for more reviews. Thanks for watching and see you next time.